Hey house guests, welcome to today's BB20 updates and spoilers. Our house guest the day is Heidi Tobler. Heidi, thank you so much for the support. We really appreciate it and we think you're awesome. And if you guys want to be the house guest of the day like Heidi, check out our Patreon link in the info box below. All right, so really quickly I wanted to address something that a lot of people have been asking. The snoring that you hear in the background is one of my dogs, it's not mom. Um, Lucy always falls asleep when we're filming these and she is quite the snorlax. Flash is in here too and Homer actually, but but they're both awake and ready to work. So anyway, let's jump back in where we left off yesterday. Angela had just told Bailey, like, oh, um, I heard that Tyler said that he was only going to use the veto if I went up on the block. What's the deal with that? And Bailey was like, um, no. <laughs> she cleared it up. It's in yesterday's spoiler towards the end if you haven't seen that yet. So now Rachel's walking around with um, a blanket and a Bible classic big brother and she stops in the blue room she's talking to Angela and she's like so Bailey just talked to me and she was annoyed because she said you just told her that you heard that Tyler was gonna only use the veto if you went up on the block blah 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 the whole thing and Angela's like what she totally lies she's like I didn't say that you told me I just asked if Tyler said that he was coming after me and Rachel's like oh well Bailey must have just assumed that I said something to you about it nope Angela lied okay so then Rachel's like well she's kind of pissed about that but Bailey did tell me last night um you know thank you for not telling anyone about my power that's super awkward because at this point Angela has told like everyone um, so Rachel says we have to win the next HOH. If we do, we'll be safe for two weeks because Bailey is not going to use her power if one of us wins HOH. And then she's going to keep us safe the following week because she's going to go after the guys. I would not assume that Bailey would not use her power, but everything is going to change tonight, guys. Everything is going to change. So <laughs> Rachel feels really weird at this point because Brett is not talking to her. And this was part of Brett's plan to make her freak out and feel uneasy. It's working. Um, so she's like, yeah, I said good morning to Brett, and he just kind of ignored me. And Angela's like, ha, ha, ha. Um, yeah, it's driving him nuts that he's going home over you. Ouch. So she brings up that Brett is going to try to piss off Rockstar again with his eviction speech, just like last time. But guess what? It's mostly going to be about Rachel. I don't even know if he's going to say anything about Rockstar at all. He might, he might not, but he's really, really going to expose Rachel. So they're like laughing together about how funny it's going to be when Rockstar freaks out. And Angela's like, yeah, I was encouraging it. It's going to be great. So Rachel's like, oh man, I was just getting worried that Brett might say something about me because he hasn't been talking to me. <sighs> so Angela's like, no, it's going to be so great. I'm going to freaking pee my pants. <sighs> I just, it's crazy how Angela has flipped on Rachel so quickly. I mean, a complete 180, unless she was just being fake with Rachel the whole time, I don't know. So then Rachel's like, all right, I gotta ask you this. Are you voting to keep me? And Angela's like, really, Rachel? And she says, I'm sorry. I just, I had to ask. I just have to make sure. And Angela's like, yes, I'm gonna keep you. No, she's not! Okay, so then Rachel's like, oh man, it's really weird. It's a weird feeling to know that I'm gonna be safe. Hopefully I am. Oh, I'm really worried for Rachel. I'm worried she's not going to take this well, you guys. I'm worried she's not going to take this well. So anyway, JC and Tyler were whispering in the lounge room, and JC's like, man, it's so calm right now, but it's going to be freaking crazy after this eviction. Yep, it's going to be wild. So Tyler's like, we have to win the next HOH, and JC's like, do we though? He's not so sure that he wants to win this one. He doesn't know that he wants to get the blood on his hands. He doesn't know that anybody's really coming after him right now. And Tyler's like, uh, whoa, you have to try to win this. Rockstar is going to want to get you out because you've been throwing her name around this week. True. So Rockstar has said to other people that she would put up Sam and JC if she wins HOH and try to backdoor Tyler. So I'm sure Tyler knows, you know, Obviously, Rockstar wants to get him out, too. So if he can push that target onto JC, make him want to go after Rockstar, too, 
that's going to be good for him. So JC is like, all right, fine. Rockstar will be my target. Now, they're both annoyed that Rockstar is going to make it to the jury because they think she's going to be bitter. And they feel like if either of them are at the end with any girl, Rockstar is just automatically going to vote for the girl, even if she did nothing in the game. Could be. We've seen it happen before. So everybody's assuming jury is going to start after this eviction because that would make it a nine-person jury probably, right? Uh, I guess Julie will announce it tonight if it is happening. Maybe they'll do a seven-person like Canada. Who knows? So Tyler lets JC know, uh, yeah, I figured out this week that Bailey, Haley, and Rockstar are all working together and they suck. How are they just figuring this out? <laughs> what? Okay, so anyway, JC uh, feels like he has a really good handle on Fessy at this point, so he's like, we shouldn't go after Fessy. Well, obviously he's not going to, but he's telling Tyler, if you win, you shouldn't go after Fessy because I have pretty good control over him. But he's annoyed that Bailey talks to Fessy like she's his owner. So they feel like Bailey is definitely on a power trip this week. <laughs> yeah, she has been the worst. This HOH-itis is freaking level five insane. So um, Tyler is like, yeah, it's because she feels so safe. She's the HOH, she's got that power app, which is essentially gonna allow her to be the HOH for back-to-back -back weeks. So they don't know exactly how this power works yet or how long it lasts, but they really want to get rid of it next week and flush it out as soon as possible. So talking about this week's votes, they're still gonna go ahead and try and blame JC's vote on Scotty. That's why Brett has been hanging out with Scotty so much this week, so it looks like they're really close and maybe Scotty would want to vote to keep him. Uh, but Tyler is like, there's no way I'm going to be able to cover my vote this week. So he's not going to lie about it. He's going to own up to it. He's going to be like, yeah, I voted Rachel out. He's going to try to justify his vote by saying that Rachel tried to frame him last week with that hinky vote. Um, but he is saying that he thinks it was actually Scotty, but he's going to play, play along with this whole Rachel thing. But it wasn't even Scotty. It's the guy who is lying next to you. JC. Okay, so then Angela was in next to talk to Tyler. She tells him about the conversation that she had with Bailey, and she's like, yeah, I was trying to get her to not trust Rachel by, you know, saying that I heard that you weren't going to use Levito unless you, unless I was going up on the block. I'm so tired of this. I'm not going to go there. So anyway, <laughs> she says it's obviously working because Bailey went and talked to Rachel right after, and she was pissed. So yay, Angela did something in the game. All right, so then Angela's giving Tyler more information about Bailey's power app. Not completely accurate. I mean, she got some things right, so she's like, well, if Bailey doesn't use it next week, she has to use it the following week, which is not true. We know uh, that it's good until final eight, and it can just expire. I don't think it has to be used like Sam's was, um, but they don't know that. So then... Angela also says it can only be used it can only be used on the initial nominations and then once it's used it's done. She can't change anything uh, after the veto. It's just the initial nominations, which is true. So then they talk about Brett's upcoming speech and they're really excited that Bailey's power is going to be exposed. They think that's going to be great for them because it's going to put a lot of pressure on Bailey. Her group is going to be pissed if she does not use the power to protect them so it's you know an added layer of bleh on Bailey she's got to use it uh, if her allies are in trouble so Tyler lets Angela know hey um, Scotty's been talking about putting you up just so you know and Angela's like yeah he sucks and he's got to go all right so then the feeds went down for a little bit and during that time the house guests were shown various gifts uh, for the upcoming HOH competition. So it's just like past events and stuff that have happened throughout the season and then they're gonna have some questions to answer about it. So after the feeds come back, Rachel and Tyler are in the lounge room and Tyler's like, so uh, Bailey told you she has the power? And Rachel's like, oh, I don't wanna talk about that right now. I can't talk about that while I'm on the block. I'm too nervous. Uh, so she tells him it's not pertinent right now. Trust me, I will tell you more when it's pertinent to you. You're not going to be around to tell him. Uh, okay, so then um, 
Tyler is like, just so you have a heads up, I'm hearing that Brett is probably going to try to put a target on Rockstar on his way out the door, you know, with his eviction speech like he did last time. So he's telling Rachel, just stay calm. Don't try to call anyone out. You know, don't do anything crazy. Oh my God, he's setting her up. So it's going to be really interesting to see who goes first tonight with the eviction speeches, right? It's going to be crazy. If Brett goes first, is Rachel going to like totally change her speech? Because right now she's planning on being very polished and like pageant-like in her speech. So I don't know if she's going to freak out if she goes second after that. Again, I'm scared for her because she's not going to take this speech well. Okay, so the two sides pretty much separate to study. The hive goes upstairs, level five stays downstairs, and they're all like, blah, blah, blah. In this gif, how many people were wearing hats? Well, you know, all that stuff. So then around 6 p.m., you, you got the two sides studying, and then Sam freaking loses her mind on JC. Apparently, one of the gifts included JC falling during the endurance competition that she won, you know, the wall one when they were on the tree stumps. So now she's thinking, hmm, he must have thrown the competition. I mean, probably, right? I think JC's been throwing a lot of stuff. So JC's like, no, I was just adjusting my goggles and then I fell. We didn't see the whole clip in that gif. We just saw like 0.5 seconds or whatever. So Sam is like, well, I'm upset because I was really proud of myself for winning that competition and everybody was telling me it was a big deal. But now she's realizing, whoa, people may have thrown it. Um, are you forgetting that you ordered Tyler to throw it to you when it came down to the two of them? And she was like, Tyler, throw it! Jump! Yeah, what happened to that? So, also, it's not like it even came down to Sam and JC. JC was like out really early, so I don't know why she was so upset about this. But leave it to Sam to be upset about something like this when they have all of this information that they should be studying. So Tyler comes over, he's like, Sam, you're making something out of nothing here, it's not a big deal. And JC is like, yeah, don't be paranoid, don't let other people get in your heads. We have other things to worry about, like these freaking gifts that we need to study. So Sam's like, I know all the gifts. She starts crying, she's like, JC, you're one of the only people that I trust, and I feel like, you know, you lied to me. So Sam's like, did you let me win? And JC is like, no. She's like, do you promise? He's like, yes. So, I don't know, that was over. JC takes her to get some water. You better, sweetie. And then that was that. But Sam was kind of like just a mess last night. Ugh. Okay, so then Brett, um, speaking of crafts, because you know Sam is busy in her crafting world. Brett was crafting his eviction, eviction speech in the have not room with Angela and Casey. So it sounds like he's basically gonna say, I know everybody is really nervous thinking I'm gonna say something crazy, but I'll keep it pretty heartfelt. Before we got into this whole situation, Rachel thought she was just gonna be a pawn this week. So she told me a bunch of stuff just in case I stay. She told me about the Girls Alliance and Bailey's Power app. So here's the reality, guys. Bailey has the power to replace the nominations without being HOH. So if you keep me around, she'll use the Power app on me. But if I'm voted out, the Power app can be used on any one of you. You're welcome. <laughs> Oh boy, so I don't know what he's gonna say exactly, but if he says if he says all that stuff, people are gonna lose their minds. But remember when he called out Rockstar and we were all shocked that anybody believed th that that could possibly be true? Do you think it's gonna be a flip this time and they're gonna be not believing that Bailey has the power up? Can you imagine? Oh my god. That would happen this season. So anyway, later, Brett pitches to Fessy and this conversation went on for a good chunk of time, but I'm just gonna give you the main points here. He's basically saying, I'm a guy, Rachel's a girl. They've got that girls alliance going on. Rachel is gonna be going after guys. I am not gonna tell you what I'm gonna do, but <laughs> Rachel is gonna be going after guys. Also, who would you rather have around? Just like on a personal level. Rachel can't cook, she doesn't clean, she's annoying. Um, can you handle Rachel's freakouts? Also, think about the jury. 
Who do you think it would be better to have in the jury? I would be more of a solid vote for you than Rachel would. So Fessy's like, all right, you're making some good points. Uh, I will be on board to keep you if Tyler and Scotty are as well. So I mean, he's really just BSing Brett at this point. He is not gonna keep Brett. So then Fessy was telling Scotty all about Brett's pitch. And they agree, they're not gonna keep him because it's gonna be way easier to get rid of Rachel in the future than it would be if they kept Brett. So they're thinking, yeah, Brett would be a more solid vote in the jury house, but if we don't make it to the final two, that's not gonna matter. So Scotty is thinking this vote is either gonna be unanimous or maybe Brett's gonna get like one vote to stay. <laughs> so Scotty says, no matter what you hear from anybody, no matter what happens, I'm gonna vote out Brett no matter what. So just keep that in mind. That sounds a little bit sus. Do you guys think that Scotty is gonna be one of the vote flipping suspects when this all goes down? I don't know. Fessy might go back to that comment, who knows. Um, but Scotty is telling Fessy, make Brett feel like he's got a chance to stay. Because if he feels like he just has to flip like one or two more votes, maybe he will end up making some crazy speech and calling people out, and that's just gonna be better for us. Uh, okay, so meanwhile, <laughs> Bailey is upstairs talking to Sam and she's like, um, I heard that Brett might say something in his eviction speech to get Rachel to snap. And Sam's just like, why would he do that? Well, that's so mean. That's messed up. I don't want Brett to do this. Can you imagine if Brett makes this speech calling out Rachel and Rachel starts crying hysterically and Sam feels bad for Rachel and votes for her to stay? That would be the one vote to flip things back for Brett to go and Rachel to stay. And it could absolutely happen. I would not put it past Sam to change her vote at the last second and vote Brett out. That would be wild. Whoa, her alliance would be so pissed at her. I mean like Tyler and Casey because they're like supposed to be super close to her. Woo, okay, so <laughs> I could totally see it happening. So there was lots of studying last night blah 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 and then this morning jc clues sam in on what's going on he's like it's gonna be nuts after day after today it's gonna be crazy because the other side is expecting this vote to be unanimous for brett to go but brett is staying so then they're going through the votes sam counts all of brett's votes she realizes there's five so <laughs> you know she knows it's gonna be a close vote so if she does end up flipping like so JC is telling her, keep your mouth shut. Um, again, I don't think that that's a good way to talk to Sam. So he should be careful. <laughs> but anyway, JC asks how she feels about this HOH competition. And Sam is like, I feel good. She thinks that either her or Scotty are going to win this if it's memory based. Because she's convinced that they have the two best memories in the house. I don't know that that's necessarily true. Um, maybe, but like... Just because you have a good memory doesn't mean you're going to be good at this competition. I feel like um, she lost the last one. She didn't even make it to the tiebreaker with the... So, <laughs> I don't know. Um, I don't know. Anything could happen during these competitions. Somebody could know everything perfectly and then just like freak out. So who knows. But JC's like, well, I hope if it does come down to the two of you that you are the one that wins. So today... Lots of studying again. Um, the Hive is super nervous about Brett's speech. Who's gonna be the target of his speech this time? Here's a crazy thought. Maybe just like take it with a grain of salt. This is somebody that you're not working with who is possibly about to go home. Yeah, let's just believe everything he says. I mean, really, why don't you just like ignore it? I don't know. Uh, the funny thing is this time he is gonna be dropping truth bombs. So anyway, um, going back to this HOH competition, a lot of people have been saying online Are you okay? that um, Scotty and Fessy were cheating because apparently they wrote out some cheat sheets. I guess they were using like eyeliner or something in like some form of paper, which is not allowed. You're not allowed to write things down in the Big Brother house. So I believe the diary room took Scotty's away, but I don't know if they took Fessy's as well. 
that's kind of messed up if they didn't it's kind of not fair but uh yeah i just know a lot of people were talking about that online and then when the feeds came back after the hoh lockdown everybody's just getting ready for the live show eating that kind of thing it seems like nothing is going to happen until the live eviction episode nothing's going to pop off until brett gives his speech so until then, we're just waiting for tonight. <laughs> oh, when the hive is blindsided again. For real though, they have no idea what's about to happen. Oh my god. I'm excited for that part. But on a serious note, I feel really nervous for Rachel. I'm, I feel really bad for her. I don't think she's going to take it well. She's such a huge fan of the show. And she really was just trying to look out for her allies this week, so that's really sad. Um, but then again, you never know what's going to happen, because like I was saying, Sam might be totally pissed off by Brett's speech, feel really bad for Rachel, and vote to keep her, and then the vote flip. You never know what could happen. So leave it in the comments what you guys think. Uh, who do you want to win this HOH? Let me know. And until tomorrow, much love.